fellas. Back to week nine. See, uh, Buckshot, you're taking on Montana State. Montana State is one and five and a D overall. You're four and four. Should you get a conference win here? After you get in trouble. Thirty-three to twenty-two conference win. Nice work. Moving to five and four on the season. I have Houston. Um, they are three and five, but a B minus overall. So it, truly, this is a tough match. Really tough. And it proves to be a three point loss. How many close losses this season am I going to get? 36 to 33. It's just killer. All right. Moving on to week 10. All right. Week 10. We got uh, four and five. Me, Marshall, fighting Ewok. Taking on a seven and two Southern Miss squad. Gonna be a tough game. We can pull this upset here after we get in trouble. <laughs> well, it'll just give me another close loss, huh? Overtime loss, 24-31. All right, moving on. I'm famished at FIU, four and four overall, taking on a two and five Middle Tennessee. But um. Ratings wise, Middle Tennessee is the better team. But let's just see how that plays out. And it does play out, unfortunately. A 48 to 20 loss for I'm Famished and FIU. San Jose State, you are 5 and 4 overall. Much better this season. Taking on an 0 and 8 Montana team. Montana should move to 0-9 after this. Get yourself a sixth win. Got it. 24 to 45 victory for Buckshot and San Jose State. Well done. And that's week 10. Let's go to week 11. Week 11. Crucial, crucial week. As bowl eligibilities start to come into question. So, this is a 7-2 and two, uh, Eastern Carolina team I'm facing. And this is going to be a right. It is rivalry, but this is an uphill climb. Let's hope we can overcome this one. And no, uh, just can't overcome those. <sighs> the disciplinary stuff. 21-3 loss. And FIU is four and five, two losses in a row, taking on an Alabama A&M team. Um, ratings wise, this should be a win for I'm Famished and FIU. And he gets it 17 to seven. So still staying in that bowl hunt for FIU. And for me, looks like it may be out of reach. So moving on to week 12. Week 12. And I mean, our guy Buckshot, six and four, is bowl eligible. What a turnaround. He's taken on a New Mexico State Aggies team that is seven and two. Um, statistics, I mean, pass offense, the number one in the nation for New Mexico State. So, I mean, this does not look like a game he should win on paper. Well, let's see how it goes. No. 30 to 16 loss, moving him to uh, six and five on the season. And I'm famished, looking to become bowl eligible. FIU five and five, taking on a one and nine Alabama State. And he does it, 35 to 14 victory for Alabama State, moving him to 6-5 and five on the season, bowl eligibility, way to go. Let's go to week 13. Okay, it's week 13, and 
This officially is the last week of the season for all of us, as in week 14, we have no games. So, San Jose State is looking for that seventh win. I am not going to be bowl eligible. And FIU is going to be looking for that seventh win. So, some tight matchups here. Really close matchups. San Jose State goes up against a 4-6 and six Idaho team. Let's see if he can solidify with a seventh win. Someone's getting in trouble. He does it. 24 to 14 win. San Jose State moves to 7 and 5 overall. Definitely gonna go to a bowl this year. Definitely. Alright, here's my game. Honestly, just gonna simulate it. 42 to 15 win. That's good. But 5 and 7 overall, not good on the season. This is an important one. I am famished. C plus overall, six and five, taking on a six and four. Florida Atlantic, who's a B minus. So this would uh, be a, an upset a little bit for I'm famished. Let's we'll see if he can solidify with a seventh win. He does not. Um, 39 to 15 loss to Florida Atlantic. That leaves him at six and six on the season. And uh, right on the edge. Bowl eligible. Let's see if he's selected. Let's move in past week 14. All right, we're going into um, well, that says week 12 commits. Uh, four star got a commitment. Number four strong safety in the nation. That's awesome. And that's the only commit. And see, week 14, no one plays. So. We're going to simulate through this week, and in the next video, we're going to go into the conference championship games and into the bowl season. So we'll find out how our teams do in that next video.